Stage five of the Cape Pioneer Trek is called Captain's Courage. Why? Because they go through Kaptein's Kloof. It's 88 kilometers, 1700 meters of climbing. And they'll flirt with that old favorite here, the Kamanasi, before they return to Otsun. A perler of a day in the Klankuru as the riders rolled away from Langenhoven Gymnasium. A gentle pedal through town and then it was the long undulating district road drag. For the first time in many years the race diverted around the mighty Kamanasi but they would still get a feel for the unforgiving terrain. But before then a chance for the gamblers to roll the dice and playing the high stakes game first with the Mbuko freewheel psychology pair of Chris Volata and Dylan Rebello who attacked early on. No threat to the GC contenders they were given plenty of rope. More trouble for the Estonian Peters, Bruce and Tarvis, a puncture in the neutral zone, had them working hard to chase back. And then they launched a counter-attack with solo leader Yuri Krivenek to try and bridge across to the leading pair. But the European champion and his young partner Tarvis paid the price once more for running lightweight tyres for the second flat and they were soon back in the big bunch. Ibuko's lead was three minutes at best as they hammered through the broad flat expanse of the ostrich farming region. However, once they reached the steepest climb of the day at around 35 kilometers, things started to unravel, while it reduced to walking up the steepest pitches. And the Swiss powerhouse climber Connie Loso ripping the chasing pack to pieces as he powered upwards. Race leaders Bell and Combrick, who took just over eight minutes advantage into the stage, had a puncture halfway through the stage. No problem for the pair. Bell owns a bike shop in Nelspad and Combrick helps out in the workshop. The Ibuko Express idled into the bunch and soon afterwards, Eric Kleinhans and Matt Beers of Team Full Sus, feeding off back-to-back -back stage wins, decided to dip into the well once more and put in a powerful attack on a tricky descent. Sixth overall and five minutes off fifth, they were loving the rough, harsh terrain. The distressingly low Kamanasi Dam was as close as they came to visiting the inaccessible, much-feared landscape. Bruce and Tarvis reacted and set about chasing the leaders. And the young spur combination of James Reed and Julian Jessup, needing a minute and eight seconds on Stopperbelt Specialized to move into third place, had found their legs. And the top two teams, Nad Pro and CBC, were riding together as they pulled hard into the headwind. Full sus were all class once more as they galloped towards Otsuan, eventually crossing the line in three hours and 18 minutes. Bruce and Tarvis were 2 minutes and 40 seconds down, whilst Reed and Jessup did enough to overtake Hrun and Bolin to move into third on GC. Well, we, luckily we, we've raced now a few races together, and especially in races like Bergenbusch and Isuzu 3 Towers, where we raced together as well. We realised we're both very good on the technical, and even in those races we, we could force a bit of a gap. And then again, we have, we have, you know, if we're flat on the downhill or something happens, you know, we don't, we don't care, we're out of the GC running, or well, pretty much out of the GC running. So for us it's about winning stages, so if something happens, we'll stop at the water points, you know, eat a bit of ostrich steak, so it's not, it's not too bad if something happens, and if, if we um, get it right, then there's a nice prize at the end of the day. The women's race was once more a tour de force from the all-conquering Omex Pro team of Cherie Redeker and Mariska Strauss. They hung on with the lead group through to the first water point and then managed their effort superbly to build a commanding lead over Catherine Williamson and Liana Diacha of Klein Karua Ladies. The Pink Ladies completed the stage in 3 hours 44 minutes, their sixth win in a row and just under 15 minutes ahead of Diacha and Williamson. Well, um, yeah, the beginning was like a good neutral zone and um, we just managed to fuss bait up the climb and stick with the front bunch and it was really exciting and I think the descending was amazing. That path through the Kamanasi was really, really beautiful and um, the dam had a bit of a cool breeze coming off it so that was a relief. And then yeah, we had a good rhythm and just kept ticking through and um, the finish didn't come as close as I wanted it to, no, but that descent was worth it, so there's always ups and downs for everything, and yeah, like I think we really enjoyed today, so it was good. Nad Pro did enough to increase their advantage over CBC Elite to just more than 9 minutes. Team Spur have 2 minutes and 14 seconds over the Dutch pair, who in turn have full sus breathing down their necks just 39 seconds back in 5th. Riddiker and Strauss have over an hour and 40 minutes in hand over Klein Karur in the women's race. After a week of exploring the wonderful trails of the Southern Cape, it comes down to one final day. It's called Chandelier Champagne. There'll be plenty of the latter. They'll start in the former 57 kilometers around Chandelier Game Reserve, 1200 meters of climbing before they finish to taste the champagne in front of the Queen's Hotel in the center of Otsun.